So yeah, I love working with toys and with games and it's exciting and it's fun to be creative for me. I enjoy those types of jobs. Um, I have my degree in um, elementary education. Elementary education to toys. Interesting. Can you tell me some more about how that whole switch happened? Or? Well, I had always loved children, and I had wanted to do something that would um, yeah. help to teach them and inspire them. But I realized that my true talent lies more in the creative aspect of the job. So there isn't, there's a, a lot of creativity you can do as a teacher, but I wanted to really become uh, even more creative. And so that's how I went into the toy business. And I'm also very organized. Is it okay if we check your references? Yes. Um, there's, I didn't notice a list of phone numbers or contacts on the resume, so I just, do you have that? I can give that to you, yes. Okay. Um, I dedicate myself to my job, so that becomes my main focus. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to find anyone else who will be as committed as me. Um, as the, I guess, the team leader of the classic line, um, you are going to be overseeing about eight other employees. Okay. Um, you are going to be helping to improve um, some of our oldest toys. Great. The whoopee cushion, the, the black eye glasses, um, the flame throwing squirt gun, things like that. Toys that have been around for 50, 60, sure, 70 years, sure. but introducing them to a new generation. Just a little bit more about Thingamajig Incorporated. Just so you know, they are a worldwide corporation. Um, Novelty Corp is just one arm of it. Um, we are in a soft economy right now, especially since 9-11. Um, luckily, as a result of that, though, the disposable income of the younger kids has not changed. Sure. Um, we do think, especially this year, with the country being so somber, that we can kind of tickle the fancy. We really are hoping that this year we can strike it rich. Um, so well, yeah. why don't we set a goal for trying to improve profits by 20%? by the end of the fiscal year. That would be incredible, and, and my boss would look very highly upon that thing that incorporated would, if you were talking about moving through the company in five years, this is, that 20% is a great goal. You will be checking in with me regularly. Sure. Our relationship is going to be very informal, um, and just as you're working with the group, we'll be meeting almost daily one-on-one -on -one so we can get an idea of how things are progressing. Sure. Um, and I'll be able to take my experiences and feed them off into you. Okay, so we want to try to make this better and more feasible to our younger generation. Um, feasible, how would you define that? Uh, more accessible, more something that they would want. Okay, well, what are some ideas that you would have then to improve the mustache? Well, I'm thinking Groucho Marx, most of our, we're doing this for our younger younger um, clientele, correct? Is that what your surveys and research did show? Is it is it that did it? show that, that okay. this was uh, more of a thing that younger people and um, also much, much older people were interested in. So our demographic line was from um, about, you know, 9 to 15 mm -hmm. and then um, 80 to 90. And the problem is that the 80 and 90 years old, year olds can die pretty easily. <laughs> um, so, so we might have Sigma. to, that's what our research has found so far. Mm -hmm. um, but the people in the middle are not as um, keen on this kind of novelty. So what we should really probably try to do is target them, okay. don't you think? I think for future years that might be one of your goals to see how you can actually reach it into that 15 through 35. Um, they are going to have a larger income, maybe we can get a higher class item. But Well, should we work on that now? For this year? I think you should start with the research you have. If your research is showing 9 through 15 is purchasing it, let's get them to purchase it even more. Okay. Um, we have had some problems in the past. Just a little history. People do complain the mustache tickles. Okay. Ideas. Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does because it gets... Yeah. I'm wondering, because there's so much hair down here. Okay. If we cut some of the hair... And you know, just it like moved it up even, so it was sticking out more. Cut hair. Now you're talking about moving it up. Are you talking about shortening the nose? Are you talking about well, raising the glasses? Are we stuck with the Groucho Marx? Do we have to go with Groucho Marx? We don't have to be stuck with Groucho Marx. It sounds like you're onto an idea. Can you well, keep on? 
you know, there's so many different different people we could use. The, what? Well, okay, let's break it back then. What are the? What makes a novelty nose glass eyebrow combo classic? Is it the Groucho Marx or is it something else? I think what makes it classic is the idea that it's supposed to look somewhat like a face. Somewhat like a face. And okay, this just looks so... It doesn't really look like anything. I mean, it doesn't look real at all. I think. Okay. Um, you were going back to the Groucho Marx before. Are there current celebrities that we could be mocking? Um, Glorifying. <laughs> All sorts of different... Uh, we could do um, a Ricky Martin okay. one. Um, Julio Iglesias, we could have a mole. Oh, there... Okay, know. okay. Um, Cindy Crawford, even. We could have a whole mole line, really. So um, pulling into the genders. Right, right. Doubling right, our, yes. doubling our yes. availability. The concept of a Cindy Crawford. You know, so we're talking moles here. We're t we could have some warts. Um, Warps. We could have, you know, different types of noses, a, a pig kind of nose, turned Dang. up kind of nose. Um, and even with the eyes, the glasses could be shaped differently. Uh, we could have cat's eye glasses for women. Um, more, you know, more um, hip and modern, smaller. I think the glasses are too big. I think that's what the problem is. I think they need to be a little smaller. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. In the 80s, the, the, the whole fad of the Cabbage Patch Kit. No two oh, yeah. are alike. We could do Make the same this thing. a collectability. You can't just get one. You have all these ideas. You have a Cindy Crawford, warts, pig, turned up, shapes of glasses, mustache, no mustache, warts. That's a great idea. That's no a great idea. No two are alike. So where do you need to go from here? Don't you think it might be a little better to just have a collector series to start with? Collector series. Talk so we're not making that. a claim that no two are exactly like okay. yet. Uh, that could come maybe at it does tickle. <laughs> <laughs> that could come maybe at a later date. Okay. Um, but you know we could have maybe fourteen different types of glasses. Okay. Um, um, one for each. You know, every two weeks you could get a new pair. You could wear one every day of for two weeks. So a this year pair. series one. Yeah. Series one, and I don't know what we would do to start it. Um, we'd have to come up with the, the, you know, and maybe we even start with just the Groucho. Okay. So start the classic line. Right, with and then the classic. Exactly. Line. Exactly. Good morning. Good Madam morning. Twenty percent profit Thank margin. Thank you. You know, you set those goals high and. You know, it was really because of you. I mean, you helped me so much, and I really, really appreciate it. I got donuts. Did you get a donut this morning? I'm trying to okay. save off those winter pounds there. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, the team worked so hard and worked so well together, and your ideas were just great, so. <laughs> you know, it's, it's all about working together. I mean, don't even talk about my ideas, because my ideas all came from yours. Well, thank you. It, it was great. I mean, I, I'm so impressed that we did so well. The Cindy Crawford mole. Who would have known that it would have sold that well? I mean, everyone wants to be Cindy Crawford, really. So, of course, we should have figured that. It's it's amazing. And I see you brought the original. I did. I you did. Understand? You know, uh, and I was walking by a school the other day, and I saw these little girls with a Cindy Crawford nose on. It was great. <laughs> I thought we made it. You know, oh. all these little 12-year-old girls were wearing the Cindy Crawford nose. You, so. you realize, Kim, thanks to you, this is going to be our banner year. Good. I'm excited. I just can't wait to working on you with more projects. This is absolutely phenomenal. Wow, man, walking by the school, you saw Cindy Crawford. It was great. I, could, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe these little girls were wearing... I mean, I could because we worked so hard. But it was just great to see. Would you ever have done that when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What were you like as a kid? I mean, I, I just talk about you professionally. I mean, I don't hear any um, of this stuff. Well, I was kind of funny. Kind of funny? Yeah. I mean, I probably would have worn the Groucho Marx glasses, but I probably would have, like, you know braided the hair or something just to be kooky okay something like that but oh. i was the king of the april fools they pranked Re i can imagine that that's what got me into the company i mean every year oh come early march i was probably the, the most popular kid in the school <laughs> you know i i had the joy buzzers i had the fake mustache i had the the, the poop balloons you know, all <laughs> 
And they thought it was hilarious. I bet. I bet. Not as not as funny come April second, but. We have a lot of work to do on the rubber chicken. It's people just don't realize how to use it. Right, but also we have the animal rights people who are concerned about it. I mean, that's that's a big issue. So I don't know how we can. Is that seriously going on? I mean, it, it, this is your research, so I'm really trying. It to... honestly really is. Um, we have uh, quite a number of people that have protested the rubber chicken. So we need to somehow deal with that. And I, I, I guess I need some help from you as to what you think would be. I'm gonna run something by you. I'll, I'll need your input. Okay. What if we defuse the situation? What if we make our campaign built around the animal protesters, making light of it? Take on the animal protesters. Use that in all of our campaign. Protesters hate us. Buy a chicken. <laughs> That's great. And why don't I take that on? Why don't I work on all of the advertisement for this campaign with my team? Is that something you think you're up for? I think we definitely can. Okay. We definitely can do that. What are your goals? My goal is to have every household have a rubber chicken. No. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I want to try to find out what we can do so that this doesn't happen again mm -hmm. in the future with future projects. You know, I do think the ad campaign was a mistake. I don't think that we probably should have made light of PETA and um, I appreciate you following with my idea, um, but I was wrong at that point. Okay. Um, so, it wasn't all you. Uh, I'm taking it right now, um, but I'm also keeping everything off of you. I really do have faith in you. I have faith in your first, first project. I have faith in what's going to be coming on after this. Um, I mean, the problem really was in the advertising. Is that what we're thinking? That's what management's saying right now, and they do think the advertising was your idea. Okay. We got their hopes up too high the first time. I do think that the chicken did well. Mm -hmm. um, it was higher than inflation as far as our sales increase. That's a good thing. Sure. Um, but when you're talking about the bottom line, Thingamajig Incorporated does want us to set the goals high. Okay. I look at this as an opportunity, mm -hmm. an opening to reality, and a chance to grow. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't like spiders. <laughs> Maybe, can we make it do flips? So. This is a tough one for me to work on. Um, I like the flips, that's good. Um, uh -huh. Especially if we're talking about this Nintendo generation. Maybe mm -hmm. it's the fact that hopping isn't enough anymore. Sure, Sorry. that's okay. Um, oh. Actually, they pretty much freak me out. Okay, okay so flips. Uh, what, make it a long, longer tongue? Mm -hmm. um, maybe weight it differently. Yeah, um, yeah. It's all, it's all simple physics, right? Yeah. Okay, so how to make it do flips? See, now we're getting something. Entertainment. Sure. Uh, but I, I do want to work on this project, um, and I'd like to work on it alone, if that's possible. Well, it's hard because we keep going around in circles. Okay, then let me tell you how I would like to do it. Number one, this delegation has to improve. You have to quit doing the work of two people. What is going on, Jim? I, I don't understand. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You give me this freedom to let me do my job, and then it's taken from me. What is that about? No wonder it didn't succeed. I mean, really, Jim. This uh, talking about teaching—you stabbed me in the back. Kim, okay. first of all, remember what we were talking about at our last meeting. Let's keep the conversations cordial. It's pretty hard to be cordial when a project that I've devoted so many months to is taken from me. Please understand at this point that I still am the supervisor 
and you still are the new employee. Yeah, but I would like to know when I'm not working on a project anymore. Kim, I'll be more than happy to talk to you about these things once we can keep it cordial again. It's the working environment at Novelty Corp that's really kept this company successful as long as it has. All right, Jim. Let's be civilized to each other, shall we? That's much better. Thank you. Why did you take this project from me? Okay, start at the beginning. Your ideas are still fabulous. No, I'm sick of starting at the beginning. Why did you take the project away from me? We could have made it work. We just needed a little more time. You didn't give me the time. I needed a little more time. That's it. That's it. First of all, I'm sorry, starting at the beginning. The project did work. Your ideas did work. You are an idea person. Exactly. I was getting a lot of pressure from above. You know I was getting a lot of pressure above. I don't know if you've noticed, but on the back of this, I have my suit coat with me today. Do you know, <laughs> you know when I wear the suit coat to work? When I have to talk to the boss. Now, <sighs> between you and me, understand everything I'm saying right now cannot leave this room. Do you understand that nothing can leave this room? I understand. He wanted to fire you today. He flat out told me that when I came into the office, that I had to let you go. <laughs> That's ridiculous! Why? This does not make any sense to me. Why would he want to fire me? I've done many good things for this company. It doesn't make any sense. So instead of firing me, just take a project from me so I can't continue, so I can't make any progress? That doesn't make any sense. We're talking cordial again. It's we, extremely we're, we're hard for me to be cordial right now. Remember, have I told you that you've lost your job? No, but Jim, have I? The don't fire stop, was stop, not like. Please, stop. Please. I went to bat for you today. And I appreciate that. Then, then treat me like you appreciate it, because this is really hard for me, too. You don't know how many hours I put in with the spider. I do know how many hours you put in. We're having these weekly meetings. I understand all that. I mean, of the that. spider was my life. But and it was taken from... It's like a child being taken from you. If you want to know why there's a chance you're going to lose your job, why the boss wanted to fire you today, it's because he feels that you were hired for the wrong position. He feels that you should be a team member and not a team leader. He loves your ideas. But... You had in, the, in the way the corporation works, we don't have room in the company right now for another team member. We need a team leader. And I like I'm your ideas. I like your ideas. He likes your ideas. The company likes your ideas. And I'm trying to convince him that I can help you to be the leader. Now, really, at this point, I have to lay it down on the line. You're going to be on a one-month probation. It's not a decision for me, it's a decision from above. That's the compromise that we reach. Realize this is all part of the business model. I realize you come from an education background. This is part of the business model. It's just a formality. It's just a formality. We're going to have to boost up our meetings. Again, we can sit around and play tic-tac-toe okay. for all I Okay, care. Jim, how will we boost our meetings when I have no project to work on? The project I was working on that we could have had more meetings about, that I could have been on a one-month probation about, has been taken away from me. It's not me. Please, don't get upset with me. But right now, I'm trying to serve as the buffer. <gasps> oh. right now, I'm trying to serve as the buffer. Like I said, we can play tic-tac-toe at these other meetings, because I think you're doing a fabulous job. I believe that you're doing a fabulous job. It's all part of perception. If the boss sees us meeting more often, He's going to have more confidence But what can we work. meet about if there's no project that I'm working on? The next project's coming down the pipeline. I don't know necessarily what it is yet, but it's going to be pretty soon. In the meantime, I think that we can all get together with your team, with you. Maybe there's a reason that the team isn't working as well as they are right now. Maybe there's some hostility there that we need to get worked out. Um, and I think that as soon as we do that, the next project is going to be the slam dunk one. I, I am very sorry that... You feel stepped on. I, I can tell you that if the tables were turned, I'd feel the same way. Of course you would. Um, the things that you're feeling are, are acceptable. I'm, I'm going to validate them. But realize this is a big company. Thingamajig Incorporated is worldwide, and a large part of its perception, <laughs> a large part of its bureaucracy, and this is really your chance to shine. If you take this one-month probation, 
and use it as an advantage, use it to learn, but you're going to come I out mean, looking like a rose. I understand what you're saying, but I finally got to the point where I'm not afraid of spiders. And I love spiders now. And it was really, really hard on me to take the spider away from me. I mean, you have to understand that. That was really, really difficult. I mean, the spider and I, we slept together, we ate breakfast together, we did everything together, and it was just ripped away from me. I mean, you have to understand that that hurts. I do. I <laughs> Sleeping with a spider. See, now that would have been a great ad campaign. Sleeping with a spider. Why didn't you have that one before? Well, because it was taken away from me. Before. These are the little things that if we talk about in our meetings, they can come to the ideas. Don't feel like, even right now, you're holding back just a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Every time I don't hold back, you yell at me for yelling at you. It doesn't make any sense. Holding back means holding back ideas. Holding back does not mean talking to me like I'm your superior. All right, Jim. Is that, so, one, share everything with me. Okay. Like we are right now. Okay. Two, and that's just a professional thing. Realize that if I would have come into the meeting with my boss this morning, like you came into this meeting today with me, if I talk to my superior like that, I'm collecting unemployment, no severance. Understand that I'm going to be a little bit more casual than that. But there, you said at the beginning interview, which it still comes back to me because it was phenomenal. That in five to ten years, you saw yourself moving up through this company. I really think that you've got that magic to do it. And I'd like to help you to get there. But if you start talking to management like you're talking to me, that is going to hold you back. Does that make sense? So, think of this as a teachable moment. And the fourth project is going to be our biggest one yet. For both of our sakes, it better be the biggest one yet. Okay. Like I said, the new project's right around the corner. Mm -hmm. And here it is. The good old standard. <laughs> Whoopi cushion. Now, we've already made some modifications to it over the years. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to notice a couple key things about that. Mm -hmm. One, it's a keychain. Right, yeah. Portability, accessibility, it's, it's really helped us sell a lot more. Um, two is, is one of the magical things you keep on doing. Low tech, <laughs> but it still inflates itself. That's great. That really is key because that's the hardest part about a whoopee cushion is having to go and inflate it. You know, then have someone sit on it and then inflate it again. So if it's self-inflating, that really solves a lot of problems. You know, this is good for our geriatric demographic, too, because they don't have to inflate it themselves. I mean, you're talking about these older people who can't open their medicine bottles. If they have a self-inflating whoopee cushion, they're set. Okay, so it can be used at work. Can it? The middle of a big meeting? The boss farts? We've got a neat little angle here with us working with a novelty corp. Think about being back at the toy company. What effect would that have had on your job? Well, I think it lightens up the mood. You're a lawyer. Big business. <laughs> in the middle of a deposition. You're going to lay out the whoopee cushion? We've got to think of the demographics. This one sucks. I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry. My idea sucks? Got to keep... Take Did that one back. Did you just say my idea team. sucked? Is that what you just said? That my idea sucked? I'm saying that outside a Novelty Corp, if somebody were to try that in a business setting, they would probably lose their job. Right, but you don't say my idea sucks. I'm sorry, it just popped out. I'm under a lot of stress right now with this. Well, you don't think I'm under stress? I'm under a lot of stress. I mean, this damn thing has to give us $100 million. Oh. Who, who, who cares if someone farts? I mean, I'm trying my best to sell this product. I'm under stress too. So please, don't say my ideas suck. If you don't like them, just tell me that you don't like them, all right? Sorry. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to protect your job right now. I want to make sure that you don't lose your job while you're on probation. Understand that according to the higher-uppers, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you this earlier, but if we don't make the goal, you're gone. All 
Okay. Well, I guess we have to make the goal then, don't we? So, since it's my job on the line, why don't I just take on the responsibility of the whoopee cushion? You don't even have to worry about the whoopee cushion, all right? Because obviously we're not able to work together very well. Then we've been working together great. Yeah, but not if you say my ideas suck. It was, that's, how many times have I said that to you on, on all the time you've been working here, through all the projects leading up to this fourth one? Okay, just that one time. All right, but, okay. And I also just want to say right now, I really appreciate the, the effort you're making with the communication. I've seen a big difference in the past couple of weeks on being able to hold back your, I don't even know what to call it, but you're not as aggressive with me anymore. Um, and I think that that's, I think that people upstairs are seeing that too. Um, so I do think there's been some advantages to the probation period, and I see you taking that, that stiff upper lip, and that's great. And, and again, I'm very sorry the way I worded that. I, it's just that I, had, I hadn't told you yet about the consequences and the $100 million, and it's, it, it's really freaking me out, too. And I hope, I really want this to work for both of us. I, I really do. Um, it's, it's kind of unusual that you'd call to see a meeting with me, but, uh, I'm here. Talk okay. to me. What's up? I've just been feeling that there's a lot going on that I'm not really aware of. Um, and I'm uh -huh. trying to state this, you know, as nicely and as cordially as I can. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank um, you. I just, from what I've been hearing in some of the emails and faxes and stuff I've been receiving about the whoopee cushion, mm -hmm. um, it seems as if I've been left out of some meetings, some pretty important meetings. Um, and I would just kind of like to know what's going on and why I've been left out, especially since I'm the team leader, team leader and we've been following your hierarchy. I, I, I've... Uh, you don't need to yell. Don't need to yell. I'm sorry, was I? It, it sounded like it, but that's okay. Sorry. I, I think the packaging work is going really well. I think the redesign work's going really well. I didn't want to pull you away from it. Um, it, it really is that simple. But... Because I wasn't involved in some of the meetings, the project is now in trouble. Um, and so we need to rectify this. Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with me not being in some of the meetings. So I don't know what's going on. I, I'm a big fan of it, but the boss really has not liked the redesign work so far. Um, there's been a lot what, of negative. What do you mean? Well, um, he was afraid that some people were going to take offense to the uh, pink triangle on the whoopee cushion for the gay clientele. Well, that was one of our highest demographics. Um. I mean, doesn't he? See, this is the problem. When I'm not in these meetings, I can't tell you these things. So you can't tell them back to him. Well, he's looking at them as your idea. Again, I'm trying to offer a buffer zone here. You know, even with your... Temper, which does have a chance to flare every once in a while. I figured as long as the boss is in the meeting, it's probably best for me to serve as the buffer still. You're really close to being out, and I don't want to see it happen. But I think you've been... I think what's happened is there's been a, a big mistake, and I think it's come from your end. And I didn't know about it because of the meetings, but now it's all coming down. And we really need to fix it. Oh, I agree we need to fix it. Isn't that, isn't that why you wanted to meet? This? Well, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to meet with you about. And I want to know what's been going on in these meetings that I haven't been at. Well, what, if, what have you missed at the meetings? Um, again, he, he doesn't like the whole gay angle. Okay. That's, that's got to be reworked. Um, the packaging, he's, we've looked at a couple with test markets finding it seriously offensive, um, especially the biker whoopee cushion for the motorcycle seats. Yeah. The metal spikes were too much. Did he like the different sounds of the farts? Doesn't really like the different sounds too, especially the scream. That really got to be... We, it's a funny... It's a, fun, right. it's a funny... Right. Right. But these were so, like, clean farts. When we try the juicier ones, did that to have any effect. Um, actually, with the geriatric crowd, we even had one person um, defecate <laughs> on themselves when they heard the noise. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I wish I was, but again... You see, this how is... come I don't know this stuff? If I would have been in this meeting, I would have known this. I'm telling you, management hates 
everything that you've done so far. Hates. Well, I'm trying to protect you. From no, I, I understand that, but I don't think this is really my fault. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with what you've been doing. I'm open to improvements, too. If you have areas that you think that I've been falling short on, please let me know, because I think that I've been very good about taking feedback the whole way. My goal, I have two goals right now. Mm -hmm. Number one is meeting the target goal of $100 million. I think that we still have a chance of doing that. Mm -hmm. And if not, we're going to come within a standard deviation and get us close. Number two is keeping your job. I'm really a bad for you here. I really think that your ideas are great. This might not have been the right project to show off the strengths. Yeah, it's kind of hard to base a whole job on farts. I mean, really. That's what it all comes down to, is my job is really based on farts. And... <laughs> I'm obviously not kind of getting the market on the farting, so... Well, but you came from a toy background. And maybe that's it. Maybe this job isn't going to be the best fit. Maybe your job is with the toys and not with the novelty side. But what's happening, what I see happening, is this is kind of the same thing that happened with your last employee. I think the problem may be more with the higher-up management, maybe more of your position. When did you start hearing about the people that had your job before? Well, I mean, there's been a lot of talk. Such as? Well, during these meetings that I was supposed to be at, the people have been talking. And? I think the accusations are going in the wrong way. And so you're putting it on me? Well, I mean, I think... I think that, I think it all comes back to letting me have more control. You see your job on the line, and so you blame it on me? Well, I'm not blaming it on you. I'm just simply stating that it's not all me. I've been a bat for you. Well, I know that. I know that, and I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, but the bottom line is the farts are not selling, and we need to sell the farts. The whole world needs to have a fart. You know, I mean, farts need to permeate the air. And we're not doing that. So, it's really not just about me. Good. So you're getting back onto the line again, talking about the whoopee cushion. Good. So, about the whoopee cushion. Mm -hmm. How are you going to change the redesigns based on the feedback that I'm giving you now from the higher-ups? Well, I'll, I'll do some different designs, I guess. We don't have time for the redesigns. We've got to use the stuff that we have. The deadline is extremely close. God. Well, um, then I guess we'll have to keep it as it is, but change some of the marketing strategies and advertisement strategies. Great. I'll start working on that right away. Well, I can take, I can take that. That's fine. I'll, I'll take control of that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't think you get it at this point. If you take control of it, you're going to lose your job. Not if it succeeds. You're telling me that farts aren't your thing. You've been saying that to me all day today. Okay. Yeah, you're right. If you want to keep your job, you have to trust me that I can do it. Okay, I'll give you the farts. I think you're making a wise decision. I think that these uh, reviews that we do at the end of each project has definitely been one of the biggest things to help us to um, find out where the faults were. <sighs> so much went wrong with this one. Um, so we probably have lots to talk about. Where do you want to start? Um, how do you feel that your team members worked going through this? Fine. Okay. So, was there anything that you do differently with the team members next time? Nope, I think it was all talked about earlier. Okay. 
Um, how about your idea process, the packaging, the redesign? What about it? How did that feel for you? You said that farts weren't your thing. Um, I guess, you know, you, you like those teaching analogies. You know, it's, it's tough to do a research project on something you don't like. How did you, how did you work with that, not liking the farts? Not... It's fine. It was fine. So the team members worked fine. Um, packaging redesign. It's fine. It was fine. Mm -hmm. um, you've talked before about just some criticism of my own leadership. Do you care to talk more about that at this point? Again, it's keeping the relationship moving forward. This is your chance to air this stuff, I guess. It's, you know, it's... It has no bearing. Has no bearing because you don't think that I'm going to change? Has no bearing because the project's over? And this is... it, it just really doesn't matter. Um, are you looking for other jobs? Aren't we doing a review right now? You have this very... You're not being yourself today. Um, you know, I, I go back to our first meeting with us every three seconds, squeezing, laughing, squeezing, laughing. It was fun. I mean, you're, you're being very distant. And, Everything's fine, 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 doesn't matter. I mean, that's what my notes say right now. How can we do a product review when that's going on? I've been hearing rumors. I'm, I'm asking. It's friends. Perhaps. Oh. Um... Why? There's just a lot to say, and uh, it's just not worth saying. But if we're doing the review right now, isn't that the time to say it? If you're talking about leaving, and I really don't want you to, what do you have to lose by telling me how it went? I mean, ultimately, you liked the company, helped the company. I just have nothing to say. So, is the review over? You have nothing to say. No. Yeah, I guess I'll have to keep on working on the review by myself. Um, okay. Thank you. Jim, that Whoopi Cushion project was troubled from the beginning, and you did nothing to try to solve that. Sir, you're, you're talking about management skills, and I think that my management skills are phenomenal, but a manager's only as good as the employees they have under them. If you just give me a chance to hire some more team members... You're blaming, you're blaming other people. Sir. You're not taking responsibility in being a manager. I love this company. I've dreamed about working for Novelty Corp all of my life, sir. You, you can't take that away from me. I don't know which way to go. If you tell me that I'm, I'll take all the blame for myself, it means that I can keep my job. I'll, I'll fire everybody else, it means that I can keep my job. But, sir, you can't take my dream away from me. Jim, this isn't about dreams. I've got a bottom line, and I've got stockholders to worry about, and I, I am going to have to let you go. You can and I get a box, there'll be a box on your desk, and you can take a little bit of time to, to clean up, but you're going to need to be out uh, of the office by noon. Yes, sir. Typically, in a situation like this, um, I'd prefer not to go outside mm -hmm. the company to fill a position when someone's been... Uh, 
separated from mm -hmm. the company. So we uh, we're basically some looking for someone with your experience and your background to take on this position. Are, are you interested? Sure, definitely, definitely. What uh, what do you think you can bring to this position? Well, I think I can bring some fresh and new ideas. Um, I think I can bring quite a bit of experience um, and knowledge and enthusiasm and passion for it. Great. Everything I've heard about you and in, in your decision-making skills and your management skills have, have been just Incredible, exemplary. Oh, great. I, and I, I'm not, as you'll learn when we work uh, more closely together, I'm not someone who throws around a lot of uh, hyperbole. And, well, thank you. And so I, I really, I, I'm impressed. Welcome to your new position. Thank you. I have a long history with uh, Thingamajig Incorporated and, and, and Novelty Corp in general. Um, I, I think that I have a lot of good ideas and I, I think that the company would do great to have me as an addition for new ideas and stuff. Okay. I think we all know how well your new ideas work. Um, so I will keep that into consideration. Those those ideas were on the classic line, and these are these are new ideas for the new line. And, and I don't even think that I've begun to scratch the surface yet of, of my potential. And under your leadership and and tutelage, I think that this can be a very successful relationship. I think that I have a lot that I could learn from you if you give me a chance. I think you're probably right. You do have a lot you could learn from me. And perhaps I may give you the chance. My bank would really appreciate, I would really appreciate that if, if you could. It's been kind of tough the past couple of months. I, I, could, I could lose my house if I don't get this job. I, I really miss this company. I, I really miss how we worked together at first. I think that we could do that again. We'll see. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Smith. It was nice to see you again.